Arkansas. So I'm heading into my ninth football season covering the Razorbacks, and I swear Grant Morgan has been here just as long as I have. <laughs> but kidding aside, his sixth and final season as a Razorback is one he says is already different from the rest. Here's Nick Petrochoni. Ask any Razorback who the heart and soul of their team is, and they'll most likely say it's Grant Morgan. He's entering his sixth year with the Hogs and has seen it all at Arkansas. Coach Hargraves, and then Coach Chavis for two years, Coach Rhodes, and then Coach Shear. Um, DCs were, were Coach Rob Smith, Coach Paul Rhodes, Coach John Chavis, and then Coach Odom. Yep. And then head coaches were Coach Bielema, Coach Morris, Coach Lunny. Coach Pittman. Grant could have tried to go to the NFL after last season, but he came back to school for that last coach, Sam Pittman. I just saw exactly what type of guy he was, and I knew I wanted to play for him. That's what I chose to come back and play for, and I wouldn't want it any other way. And neither would the Hogs. They brought back their general. Grant is, is not only the leader of our room, he's the leader of our team. I know if I say, hey, Grant, get the guys together, do this, 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 and this, it's going to get done. It's going to get done right. Six years at Arkansas, Morgan has seen that list of coaches come and go, but this week he saw something completely new. When we were all playing pool, sitting there talking, and Bump looked at me, and our whole, it was probably 60 to 70 people just hanging out in our media room, like our little play area, and we were sitting there, and he looked at me and goes, this is the closest our team has ever been. And I looked at him, and I was like, you know what, like, this is my sixth year here, and I've never seen this before. And I was like, this is pretty cool to see. That unique team bond could be the reason it. This squad reaches some new heights this year under Sam Pittman. Alyssa? Yeah, Nick, absolutely. Thank you. Here's a look at Grant Morgan's past four seasons. He redshirted in 2016, and you can see that big jump from 2019 to 2020, and that had a lot to do with how much he played. His lone interception, also a pick six last year against Ole Miss. 